What is up to all my Baggins Dragons out there? Welcome to another video. And I'm so excited because I finally was able to pick up one of the Queen's Beast. That is right. Thank you so much for checking out another one of my videos. I appreciate it. We're looking at this beauty right here. The Red Dragon of Wales from the Queen's Bee series. I picked this up off of Atmex. You can see right here. So we got 2017 Great Britain 2 ounce silver Queen's Beast, the dragon. So let's get this out of here. I'm so excited to look at it. And I, when I first started stacking, I, I noticed that the Queen's Beast was very popular. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to get into that series. I don't, I'm not really feeling it. You know, and, and I, I kind of hemmed and hawed about it for a while. But then when the dragon came out, I was like, okay, I got to at least pick up the dragon. And of course, I kind of hemmed and hawed about it for a while. But finally, I decided to pull the trigger. It came. I'm so excited that I did. Let's get this bad boy out of there. So, yeah, it is two ounces of silver, so it's heavier and it won't fit in my normal capsules, but I'll show you guys what we're gonna do about that in a sec. So let's get it out of there. I'm so excited. Here it is. All right. So there's the queen. It actually looks like pretty good condition. No scratching on her cheek or anything. So yeah, this is decent condition, guys. Very, very decent. It could be, you know, maybe an MS-69 possibly. Let's look at the dragon. I don't see any scratches, any dings at all. This is very beautiful. Very, very beautiful coin. Wow. I love the detail on it. I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, I think this was possibly the second to come out in the series. I know the lion was first, and then I think it might have been the dragon. I'm trying to think if there was any before it. I, I cannot remember, but someone can tell me in the comments, was this the second to come out of the Queen's Beast? Pretty sure it was for the two ounces. I know they also got the one ounce silver proofs and they got the gold ones and now they have the five and 10 ounce and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know, maybe not five, definitely 10 ounce, but uh, wow, the two ounce, oh my goodness. This thing just pops, it is super awesome. So, all right, you guys know that I love the black ring capsules. And so I picked up some. These are supposed to be for the Queen's Beast. So it's a 38 millimeter black ring, high relief. So uh, let's break them out and see if they work out. I think it should. They were advertising that this would work with the Queen's Beast. So yeah, I also do have another two ounce high relief coin, which was this one. You guys remember the uh, next generation? from Perth Mint. So I'm kind of curious if that one will fit in these as well. I only got a pack of five. Whoa, those are super thick. <laughs> I am down with the thickness. Wow, look at that. So yeah, let's pop one in. Get that little, what is that, piece of uh, wood or something. All right, let's see, moment of truth. Does it fit? I think it actually does. Yeah, a little, little snug, but that's okay. We kind of want it to be a little snug so it doesn't go popping out or moving around too much. All right, it has been encapsulated. That's very cool. I think it looks better with the black. It makes it, to me, it makes it pop more, and then I can handle it with my bare hands, and yeah, that's just so much thicker than the normal capsules. Oh my goodness. So yeah, all right, there's that one. Let's give this one a try. I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a 38 millimeter, or if it was a 39, or what it is. I mean, I bought it such a long time ago, and I am still predicting that it will do fairly well in the years to come. It was the very first of the two ounces to come out from uh, Perth Mint. I think they're actually kind of trying to copy the um, Queen's Beast, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, the so the Queen's Beast, though, they release more than one every single year. Now this one from the Perth Mint, the next generation they're calling it, I think they're just gonna do one a year. Uh, but kind of what they were trying to do on this was do a series with the uh, mother and then baby. So this is the koala. It's got a mom and a baby on it. All right, moment of truth, will it fit? Oh, no way. I do not think I can smash it in there. Maybe, ooh. No, I think it's too wide. 
Bummer. Okay. I mean, I could maybe just force it. I don't know if it'll look weird, though. Yeah, it's going to ruin the foam. All right, so now you guys know, don't put the uh, next generation in your Queen's Bees capsules. It will not fit. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. This video, uh, I just wanted to do that as a little tester. This video is more about the Queen's Beast anyway. So I am curious. Actually, I can take my gloves off now because it's in a capsule. I'm curious, have you picked up the Queen's Beast? Are you stacking these? They are very beautiful. I, I especially like this one. I do like the design of the lion as well. I don't think I'm gonna be picking it up though, just because, you know, for me, I like to stack a lot of dragon themed things. Uh, you can see from my recent purchases, I bought a lot of dragon stuff. And so the Queen's Beast, Red Dragon of Wales, I mean, come on. I basically had to buy this otherwise, you know, because Yankee, Yankee Stacking bought one of these and he just, he, he talked about it so much and he's almost rubbing in my face saying, Silver Baggins, look at this beautiful dragon that you know you want. Well, I have one now, so... <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Definitely leave me a comment. Are you stacking the Queen's Beast? Have you bought any? Are you doing the whole series? I would love to know. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Silver Baggins, out.